Karen Livkin gave you? I said, oh yeah. Uh, Karen Livkin played with a group called Kansas, and he gave this guitar to me right here. And I just treasured this guitar so much. We were up in Mason, Michigan, and uh, we played at this high school gym. Actually, no, I'm sorry, it was an auditorium. And uh, at the end of the concert, uh, we were signing autographs and my guitar was just hanging out there. And so this guy, that, that he had a group that opened before us. He said, hey, let me go tune your guitar and tune it. He said, wipe it all down for you and uh, uh, I'll get ready for you. And he said, why are you signing these autographs and everything? I said, okay. Well, we got through signing autographs and this guy walks out of this uh, classroom and he was quiet as a ghost. I was wondering, what happened to him? He said, brother, I got some bad news. I said, really, what? He said, I just broke your guitar. I said, you kidding, right? You're not talking about my care living guitar, are you? The one he gave me at his home not too long ago? He said, I broke your care living guitar. He said, I've been tuning guitars and cleaning guitars all my life. He said, I've never broken a guitar, but I have now. I said, let's go take a look. Well, I went back there in the classroom, and this whole head was off. It was just hanging, limp. I said, yeah, you did a good job right there now. You tore that thing up. And so, he said, brother, I'm so sorry. You know, I didn't know what to say. I said, well, you know, the Lord giveth it, he take it. So hallelujah. So he said, I know somebody here in town that can probably fix that guitar. He said, he's real good with wood. I said, really? He said, yeah. He said, I got his phone number. I got his phone number from him. Called him the next day. He said, bring that guitar on down. We'll fix you up. Well, I took it down there to this woodsman, you know. And so it was, like I say, this whole thing was hanging off, hanging out. And so uh, he said, that looks bad. Well, he fixed it. So when I got it back, the strings were off the neck, I'd say about that far. I mean, me on my best days, it would kill my fingers to try to push his strings down. So... I would say at least 25 years, Pastor, this guitar just laid there. And it was a little bit over a year ago that I, it just hit me one day. Go to your friend Joey in Nashville. Let him fix that guitar. So I called my friend Joey, I said, and I explained what happened to my guitar. I said, do you think you can fix it? He said, I really do. He said, bring it up here. Well, I took it to him. Took him. I don't know. I, I didn't rush it. I, it. The guitar just laid out there. I don't know if it laid there six months. I, I don't really recall, but it was there a long time. Finally, he called one day. Hey, David, come get your guitar. I said, how does it play? He said, awesome. Well, I got there, and I'll tell you all something. This guitar plays better. Then when Carrie first gave it to me. Kind of reminds me of us. God takes us when we're so ugly, broken, in pieces. And somehow He can take something and make it into something else. From nothing. Hallelujah, he made man from nothing. He created us in his image. And I'm so glad tonight that I use this, goal, uh, this, this guitar for the glory of God. And this guitar doesn't like to be hit on a microphone stand. Johnny Cash. All right. All right, y'all. It's time to wake up. Are you glad tonight that you can look at somebody and say, 
thank God I'm saved. Why don't you tell a few people right now? Thank God I'm saved. <laughs>
Thank <laughs> you.